This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Interesting one here that we've never really talked about. Roddy Garcia says, did you ever run across a talent who was supposed to do the favor for you, but didn't want to? What was the outcome of that conversation and how would you handle the talent after the fact? Um, I'm sure I had a lot of those. Um, but no one ever vocalized it. It wasn't one of those things because it, you know, in those days, it wasn't what I wanted to do or what they wanted to do. It's what the office wanted. And it came down from a much higher power as to what was going to go on in that ring. And if you wanted to not do it, you had the option to talk to the booker slash owner slash whoever was in charge. And uh, they would make a decision on, on what your reasoning was for not wanting to. And if it was not justified, they would reiterate what the office wanted. And then if you didn't want to do it, depending on how you were positioned or where you were positioned, you could lose your job that day. It could be that severe. Uh, Mr. Perfect Fan Canada uh, says, we hear a lot about guys carrying blades in their mouths tape, et cetera. Did anyone ever almost swallow one or cut up the inside of their mouth? Any stories of people getting cut by accident using that way? Those were real old timers that did that before me. I think I never knew of anybody that would carry one in their mouth. I, I could see an episode of a guy that, cause you got to carry it in there. If you did the entire match or till you were ready to use it. Uh, I think you take a deep, forget, take a deep breath. That thing go down your throat about halfway. That could be a hairy situation. I would imagine. Uh, I don't know of anybody of my generation that carried them in their mouth. I know Rick used to tape his to his fingers. That's the reason he would put all those little skinny pieces of tape on his finger. Tully would ho do his in his wrist tape. I think so. Yeah. Uh, I've always been fascinated by the different spots that guys would use that. And I guess some of the guys would occasionally have the referee slotted to them. Right. So that way they didn't have to have it on their person. Seen that happen, to, you know, uh, that too. Yeah. That now you're putting your trust though. And in the referee and the referee. Right. I always bet on me. I don't bet on anybody else. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.